Hey everyone, welcome to my new weekend project. Just driving along the road and spotted a hard rubbish pile and on top of the hard rubbish pile I saw this. Did a U-turn, went back, grabbed it and was very happy with what I found. So here it is, it's a specialised hard rock uh, mountain bike. Uh, it's in, you know, a bit of a disrepair obviously. It's got a bit of rust over it. Um, looks like it hasn't been ridden in for a while. It's got some uh, vegetation stuck to it. But apart from that, uh, it looks pretty much complete. So it's a specialised hard rock. It's an aluminium frame. It's a large size. I've uh, googled the serial number. It looks like it was manufactured around 2009. So it's about 10 years old. So it's not bad. Uh, 26 inch wheels. Uh, front shocks, again you can see it's, uh, it's a little bit rusty, uh, got a bit of rust over it, but you know it's a proper mountain bike, uh, so Specialized is a bit of a mid-range to high-end brand, it's no Kmart bike, um, but it's pretty good. So we've got a threadless, head, uh, threadless headset, we've got some nice wide bars, some indexing shifters, got some V-brakes, front and rear, although it does have mounting points for disc brakes. We've got a 3x8 Shimano crank set. Again, pretty rusty. But overall, I'm happy with my little find. Again, looks like it's been ridden a bit. It's a bit rough. But I reckon this will clean up pretty nicely. Our initial plans for the bike, I guess, is just turn it into a quick to the shops bike. Something I can ride to the shops I don't mind leaving outside. So I'll fix it up to the point where it's you know functioning and safe and the brakes work. Uh, tires look good but I'll buy some new tubes, they're pretty cheap. Replace the chain and see what I can do about just the overall service and maintenance of it. See if I can scrub up the sprockets down there and just really get it working again. Step one is going to be to clean it. I brought my cleaning supplies out. So that's it. Should be a fun Saturday afternoon. Just give it a good clean, dry it off, strip it down, and really just go over it. All right, I'll bring you back later. Hello again, everyone. So here it is. After a small amount of soap and a little bit of elbow grease, I think it's looking a lot better. I was able to clear out the vegetation growth from the crank set. It's spinning a lot more free now. Um, and I've had a chance to go over the bike and realize it's got some aftermarket upgraded components. Uh, the headset, I believe wouldn't have come standard on the bike. The bars as well, the grips. It's got some tires that look pretty nice. Just to get some new tubes in them. It's got a uh, specialised saddle, front rear wheels are matching as well, um, and everything just seems um, pretty much complete. Don't know why someone would throw away such a nice uh, bike, but you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure, and hopefully I'll be able to get this up and going in no time. All right, I'll show you a little bit later. So these wheels look like they're in alright shape. I have spotted a little bit of dry rot and cracking on some of the tyres here. But that's not too bad. The hubs look good. The spokes feel like they've all got good tension. They're all clean. Yeah. Sprocket could use a little bit of a clean up. Obviously the cassette. Yeah, overall, for a free bike on the side of the road, there's nothing to complain about here. Okay, so I'm out here going over the bike, you know, testing all the components, and I really can't find anything wrong with it. The bike itself, you know, it's shifting, it's all working. A bit noisy, the chain is a bit 
how you going? So I replace the chain and it should really help. It's a bit rough right here in this top one. So just a little bit of adjustment here and the barrel adjuster and it's working great. Alright everyone, so as you would have just seen, I pumped some air into the tyres and took it for a little bit of a ride in the car park here and it rides great. Uh, the gears are shifting properly, a little bit noisy but you know some finer tuning and maybe a new chain and that will really improve. Uh, everything works great, the brakes are a bit stiff, they're a bit worn, um, a bit stiff in the, in the cables but they do work so that's the main important thing. I'll go for a bit of a ride, a uh, longer ride this afternoon and see how it goes. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, do a bit of cleaning up on the shock posts, but the shocks, they do work. They're not lockout shocks, so, but they do compress and the preload adjuster is on there, so they do work. You know, but all in all, for a free bike it's great. I've cleaned it, I've put some air in the tyres, I've done some adjusting on the uh, rear derailleur and that's it. It's going great. It's, um, it's a good little bike. I don't know why anyone would have thrown it out, but it's mine now and I'm going to enjoy it. So I'll let you know what I think of it after I go for a bit of a longer ride. Alright. So I've just gotten back from my first little ride with this bike, you know, and it went really well. I only went for about, you know, 18 minutes about that, you know, around some local tracks, you know, hit one little jump. You know, on the bike, it's, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really, really happy with it, actually. I can't believe someone threw it out. Um, the only other things I've really done to it is I've adjusted the angle of the brake levers for a more comfortable fit. You know, I went around and I tightened all the headset bolts, handlebar bolts, uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, and it's great. You know, I've got a spare um, bike lock, so I'll leave this outside, you know, just as my quick, you know, run to the shops type of bike. And um, the only other things really about it, you know, is I've noticed that the, um, the headset bearing dust cover here has come up. It's probably going to get pretty dirty in there, might need replacing. Um, the tyres, the front tyre, you know, does have a few of those cracks in it, but if you look closely, it looks brand new. Like it's still got all the little rubber bits on it, the tyre's barely been ridden. So it's obviously just been put on and then put somewhere, and now it's got all these little, you know, sidewall cracks in it. But still holding air, went for a ride, you know, it's good, it's good. The shocks, they work. Um, I need to adjust the rebound setting here, make it... Uh, bit uh, stiff on the preload for my liking but uh, that's it that's it the brakes you know still a bit stiff but they function they work well um, you know it's a great great little bike I'm really really happy with it and that's it so that's Saturday afternoon project done um, I might go for another ride uh, I might just leave it as is go get a coffee but you know look at that free bike what's not what's not to love Alright everyone, thanks for watching, um, let me know what you think, see ya.